Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here and we are back with another rebuild as of today. This is honestly one that's been requested a while back. I just hadn't really gotten to it. I, you know, got challenged in the um got challenged in the rebuild battle. I had already kind of done the Spurs video, so I was trying to figure out a time to get this one done. But I think that this is the perfect time to be honest. So, um in one of my videos, um, in the comment section, someone had left a comment saying that they wanted me to rebuild the Lakers every year until LeBron retires. Um, in this game, it's usually about three or four seasons um, after like the current season. So it shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, I'm going to try to make my videos a little bit shorter too. I know that they're kind of like close to an hour. So I will definitely try to make my videos a little bit shorter as well. Now... I wanted to go ahead and address this because I got a comment on it in my Spurs rebuild and I did not think I had to address this but um, apparently I did so I got this comment and I'll flash it up on the screen and he had basically told me that that my rebuilds weren't realistic and that, you know, the Oklahoma City Thunder would obviously never trade for DeMar DeRozan for Shea like I had done in the last rebuild, even though I gave them, I'm pretty sure, a lot of picks. But I just want to I just want to make myself clear here. So obviously Oklahoma City would never trade away Shea Gilders Alexander. That's their main piece for the next many, many years. He's gonna be just kind of that main guy. He's gonna be the guy that they try to build around. Stuff like that. So obviously they're never going to trade DeMar DeRozan or trade Shea for DeMar DeRozan. It, it just wouldn't happen. And I get that. I 110% get that, okay? What I what I mean by realistic is in in the, if I was like the Spurs GM, clearly I would try to trade away DeMar DeRozan regardless. I would just try to trade him away. I didn't really care for what that was just the best offer that was given to me. So, what I mean when I say a realistic rebuild, what I mean is my ideas are realistic. So, for the Spurs rebuild, obviously, in, rather than letting everyone walk, you do want to get you know pieces for DeMar DeRozan. You want to get pieces for uh, Rudy Gay. You want to get pieces for Gorgie Zhang if you can. So, just because 2K is a terrible game and makes trade offers like that, is not really my fault. Just the idea of trading away DeMar DeRozan is the is the realistic part of it. So, I just wanted to make that clear. Um, before we went any further with this video, just because I got that comment and I didn't think that I had to address it, but that was what the trade finder had given me, okay? Wasn't trying to be super realistic. Even though he used the wrong version of no, he spelled it out, K-N-O-W which I thought was hilarious after trying to flame me, but, um, you know, whatever. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing the Lakers realistic rebuild until the end of LeBron's career. Um, so I think as of right now, I think LeBron, yeah, he's got a three-year contract, so most of the time when I do these rebuilds, that's kind of when he um, retires, is at the, end of the, at the end of the third year. Um, so obviously we still have LeBron, we still have Anthony Davis, we still have Drummond, we still have Montrezl Harrell, we still have um, Dennis Schroeder, we have Kyle Kuzma, KCP, stuff like that. So I don't really know what I would do to change, um, especially in the first year. Maybe, well I definitely want to, I definitely want to get Caruso some minutes. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change around some positions move Trez to the four, it'll bump his overall a lot as well. So Trez to the four, keep Gasol there, maybe move THT to the two, and then get Caruso some minutes, so we'll run a 10-man rotation. Um, so yeah, let's do that. So we'll move Trez to the power forward spot. Um, we will move... Wait, do they have... Hold on, sorry, I, I gotta look at this real quick. So, do they have, they have KCP starting at the two. So, I'm not sure why he was at the three in on this. Does he go up to a little bit? No, he doesn't, okay. So we'll keep him there. Um, what about for THD? He kinda stays the same, but I think I am gonna run him at the two, just because um, 
Like, I think that it's going to, it's just going to be better in the long run, just because now we can get Alex Caruso some minutes as well. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely change that to a 10-man rotation real quick. Go here, 10-man. And honestly, I don't think we're going to make any trades right now. I like kind of where we're at. The only thing I would say we could probably get away with is trading to try to get, I don't know, maybe a better point guard. Um, but, I mean, realistically, we have LeBron and Anthony Davis. So I'm probably just going to sim to the end of the year and kind of go from there. So hopefully we can win a championship in the first year. So I'll be back. All right, so we are back at the end of the first season. Um, we did end up going first in the power rankings and first in the conference, so definitely looking all right from there. Giannis wins MVP, averaging really good numbers. I mean, you can't argue with that. Lamelo Rookie of the Year, six man goes to Isaiah Stewart. That's a new one. Uh, Defense Player of the Year, Giannis, and most improved Christian Wood. Should have saw that coming. Frank Vogel does end up winning Coach of the Year, so that was our record, 67 and 15. We didn't get Executive of the Year, but we also didn't make really any moves, so. LeBron does make All-NBA first team, um, and that's going to be it. I guess no Anthony Davis must have uh, not really shown up. So defensive teams, um, both Andre Drummond and Anthony Davis made it, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, so we are the one seed we're taking on the Jazz. I doubt their team changed too much. Yeah, no, the exact same team. Yeah, the exact same team. So I'm going to simulate through the round. And we just lost in five. We just lost in five to Utah. Um, wow. What happened? Like, what just happened? I mean, Anthony Davis, what are you, what are you doing? Nine points? Um... Anthony Davis, 12 points. I, I I don't know what just happened, but we just lost in five. Okay. Um, Davis, I mean, this is bad. This is really bad, Anthony Davis, but okay. So we lost in the very first year, I very first round of the playoffs. I was not expecting that at all. Um... Let's take a look at player retirements. Carmelo ends up retiring. Haslam. Iguodala. JJ Redick. Nothing crazy, but it's always just cool to see. Taj Gibson, former Bull. Shout out to him. So I guess let's go to the league meetings. Make sure that everything's rejected, which it is. Go to the draft lottery. I don't think that we would have any picks. I highly doubt it. So I guess just the 29th. We got the 29th pick for getting knocked out in the first round. That's... <laughs> Ah, that's tough. Um, we'll go to staff signing, see if uh, see if we can still get some good, like, you know, player or positions here. Frank Vogel does have good ratings, um, like extremely good ratings. So I'm probably gonna keep him, and I'm gonna keep all of these guys. To be honest, maybe I could get rid of Daryl Crawford, but um, I I don't know. I'll probably just keep. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Honestly. Okay, so let's go to the draft. I doubt we're gonna get anyone decent with our pick, but I'll I'll see who all's available. Um, looks like we're not really gonna have anyone. Terrence Clark. Yeah, this is the kid from Kentucky. R.I.P. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess we would kind of need some more wing play. Um, Kind of get a backup in for KCP, other than THD, who I think is going to be really good. Um, we'll take Terrence Clark. Um, I know that he unfortunately has passed, so obviously shout out to him. But for now, that's kind of what we're going to go with. Um, for the player options, we're going to try to keep. So Trez declined his player option, so that's that's no fun. Um, that is no fun at all qualifying offers we do have THT on a qualifying and we have Devontae uh, I don't even know how to say his name so I'm not even going to try 
So for the moratorium, um, obviously we're going to do the glitch where we can get THT back on the qualifying offer, if I can find him. Um, I don't, yeah, maybe I'm absolutely blind. And I know he's not. Wait. Yeah, okay. Maybe he's just automatically back on the team. Most of the time you'd have to re-sign him. But honestly, okay. Well, that's cool. So, we have a pretty big uh pretty big decision to make here. We have a lot of players that are unrestricted free agents. So, it, it makes it makes it really tough. I don't want to bring back McKinney. Um, I don't think that he would do too much for me. I do like Caruso. I think that he's a very good backup point guard. Um, and I do think I want to bring back Trez. So I think I'm just going to try to bring back all of them. See if they will accept it. I I don't know. I mean, there, I can only I can only hope. I guess. Um, so. Let's see. Agreed. So Dennis Schroeder would be... Or wait, no. Andre Drummond is on a cap hold. Um, so hopefully we can keep most of these guys. He signs with the Raptors. Okay. So we just lost our starting center. That's no fun. Um, that's no fun at all. So I guess we are just going to bring back Caruso. Hope that he signs. I. Okay. And he does... So, yeah, we really don't have a whole lot of options left. We um, pretty much are going to have to be set with everything that we have. We have Trez still. We have Schroeder. We have Kuzma, KCP, Caruso, and then we just picked up Terrence Clark. Okay, so we should be... I mean, I don't really know what else we would do. We don't have any money to really sign anyone. Um, THT just accepted his qualifying offer, so LeBron does regress. Anthony Davis gets a little bit better um, at the age of 28. Trez does get a little bit of a, a little bit better too. Same with Schroeder, same with Kuzma, same with THT. KCP does stay the same, but I don't I don't really foresee him getting too much better. So um, Caruso goes up one as well. Terrence Clark starts out as a 69, which is not ideal, but you never know. I mean, we do have some training camps. He may be able to turn into something here in the near future. Um, and I am going to auto-generate the rookies from here on out. Um, if you guys are new, I pretty much just do the first season of Real Players. And then everything after that is mostly uh, mostly just auto-generated. So um, we will go to THT just because he is a little bit younger. Um, that will bring him up to an A-. And we'll give it to Caruso as well. Hopefully they can they can just keep keep improving. So... For this year, for the game plan, we have um, Dennis Schroeder, we still have KCP, we still have Braun, we still have Anthony Davis, and then we have Cristiano Felicio starting. There's no way in hell that's going to happen. I will start Trez at the 5. I'm fine with that. Um, we may have to run a little bit smaller of a rotation. Yeah, we're just going to have to do it like this. I'm going to move Trez to the center. And we are going to have to rebuild the rotation this way. We will go... <laughs> We're not playing Felicio. I hate Felicio so much. Um, so we'll have to probably run it like this. Um, unless... Let me see if I can get... Because if I can... So th the thing is, is, like... For the Lakers this year, Montrez Harrell really didn't do a whole lot. Um, he... Like, he was okay. But if you take a look... Um... Like, he really didn't do anything too crazy. I mean, he, he put up pretty good numbers, but it was nothing, like, insanely good. So, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to see if I can get anything for Trez. So if I can get something for Trez or maybe a couple pieces for Trez to improve on the bench depth, I think I would rather do that. So, I think that's kind of the route that I'm going to go down. Um, <clears throat> for Tobias Harris, that would be an immediate upgrade. Um... But we already have Anthony Davis, so I'm kind of looking for like a guard of some sort or a center. Well, there's Precious. Um, would get us a lot younger at the center position. Or we could go De'Aaron Fox. We could trade um, Dennis Schroeder then for a center. 
What would be better? What would be better? I think I'm going to go with the win now move. I think I am going to trade for Deer and Fox. That pretty much solidifies our point guard position. Now we just really need to get a. Um, now we just really need to get a starting center. So I'm going to try to trade, probably. I guess Kuzma for a starting center. Um, I don't know what all I would even be able to get for him, but it might not be the worst decision to try to get a center from Kuzma, or we could try for maybe um, we could try for Dennis Schroeder. I don't know how well it would all work out, like financially. Could get Brooke Lopez, but not really what I'm looking for. Bobby Portis, but once again, not exactly what I'm looking for. What if I trade Finder Precious? Could I? Is there any way that I could just get Precious Achua? I, I doubt it, but you know, I might be able to. Let's try it. Um, I'm not giving you De'Aaron Fox. That is the dumbest trade I think I've ever seen. So I am going to remove that. Remove that. And I will even remove Daniel Tice, and I will give you, I'll give you Dennis Schroeder. I will give you an unprotected. Oh, that's a second. Ooh. There's a first. I will give you one more first. Nothing. Okay. I will throw. I will throw these seconds at you. Okay. There we go. So we pretty much have everything set now. Um, Precious. He obviously progresses really really well um, I do want to get Terrence Clark some minutes so I'm gonna improve it to a nine man um, rebuild the rotation get rid of all those minutes from Jeff Teague he does not need to be playing any minutes and move it up to Terrence Clark and this is how we're gonna run it this year um, I think we're at a pretty good spot with a lot of our players and so hopefully I, oh I'm gonna move Kuzma to the four backup four I'm gonna move THT to the backup three and go from there as well but that's pretty much going to be it, so I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right. Well, we were extremely bad. I have no clue why we were so bad, but we were extremely bad. Jokic does end up winning MVP. Rookie of the Year goes to Cade Cunningham. Spencer Dinwiddie, Sixth Man of the Year. And Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. Most Improved, Cole Anthony. Coach of the Year goes to Mike Malone. And Executive of the Year goes to Kyle Harper. So, I think... Was this one? No, it wasn't us. That wasn't us. We had a really bad, really bad year. And... Anthony Davis still got All-NBA first team, and um, somehow, even still, we and LeBron got All-NBA second team, and we were still really bad. So, <clears throat> I don't know what happened on that one, but Anthony Davis is on the All-Defensive second team, um, and we're not going to have any... I, oh, well, we might. No. Because he only got like nine minutes a game. So so like I said, we did end up being seven in the power rankings, four in the conference. I don't really know what happened. I wanted to take a look at some stats. Like De'Aaron Fox played really well. Anthony Davis played well. LeBron played well. Precious played well. Even Kuzma off the bench played well. Why were we so bad? I do not know. I do not know. But this was kind of how our... How our season looked. I don't know why we were bad. I, I don't. This was the team that we. Oh no, we didn't play this team last year. We played the Jazz. So we end up winning game one. We end up winning game two. I'm just going to simulate through the round. We end up winning in four. So we are going up against the Denver Nuggets, who still have the exact same team. Did they add in Derek Favors? Yeah. So he got traded there. Um. But other than that, they have the same team. So we take game one, they take game two, they take game three. I'm going to shorten up the rotation just because, especially for the playoffs, we don't really want to do that. Um, I guess we can go eight man. We'll go eight man. I, Yeah, that's fine. Eight man is fine. Um, <clears throat> just pretty much cut Terrence Clark out for the playoffs. We end up winning game four, and Anthony Davis has a huge game. Oh, my goodness. Uh, they win game five, so I guess we'll have to start with Simcast. I, I don't, I don't like it, but huge game one or quarter one. Oh my gosh, 
and we end up blowing them out. So that's that's always nice. So for game seven now, please Lakers, please Lakers, huge second quarter. We lose the third quarter. Oh, we're down big. Oh my gosh. And the Sacramento Kings made it to the conference finals without <laughs> without De'Aaron Fox. That's okay. All right, Jokic is your finals MVP. So I don't know what we're going to do. I, I have no clue what we're going to do now. Um, I'm sure LeBron hasn't retired. No, he still has one more year on his deal. And I don't know what's going to what's gonna happen after that. So I guess let's go to the league meetings, reject all those. Um, draft lottery, we're not going to have any picks. We traded them all for Precious Achua so, and De'Aaron Fox. So we really don't have anything. I really thought we were making a step in the right direction. I, I truly did. Um, but apparently that was not the case at all. So we'll take a look. We lost our coach, so I guess we will go Steven Silas if he wants to. If he wants to, you know, be there, we'll offer Mike D'Antoni a coaching or an assistant coaching job, and we'll offer Ted Peterson an assistant coaching job. From there, we will get Mr. Stewart, and that's pretty much going to be it. So come on, D'Antoni. You know you want to sign. Stewart rejects. Okay. Well, we need an assistant coach with some pretty decent ratings. So I guess we'll go with Lionel Hollins. So that, that'll that be fine. And no one else really has any good ratings. So I guess we'll just go here. Dude, seriously. Okay, I was going to say, like, why does no one want to come to the Lakers? But whatever. So we aren't going to have any picks in the draft, so we're just honestly going to go to the player options. And we are going to... So Freshus still has a two-year, which is absolutely huge. KCP still... He declined his player option. Okay, so... Whew, okay. So we're definitely, you know, offering the qualifying offer to THT. He was huge for us. Um, and I think that he still has a lot of potential to grow. Right now, the only player that's in like the free agency class is THT, so I'm just going to do the glitch where you offer him max money. He accepts the qualifying offer, um, which he should right here. Yep, so it matches the qualifying offer. We're not going to have a whole lot of money, but maybe we can bring in some more pieces because this is what our roster is going to look like. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine so maybe we could bring in if we could get another shooting guard that would be a little bit better i would be fine with that but it doesn't really look like there'd be anybody that i'd want maybe will barton maybe will barton would be all right um or is there any backup centers that would be decent probably not so I guess we'll sign, we'll sign Will Barton to a, to a one year, and hope that he accepts that. Um, he does fit the, he does fit like what we're trying to run to, well, our system proficiency. So hopefully, hopefully that'll help. Uh, LeBron is regressing pretty quickly, and he's on the last year of his deal. So hopefully he doesn't retire, but he, <laughs> he really might. Um, Anthony Davis does go up one. Darren Fox goes up two, Precious goes up three, uh, THT ends up going up to a 79, which is huge since LeBron is getting a little bit worse now. Um, KCP does go up one to a 76, Crusoe up to a 75, Will Barton does get worse, which is no big deal. Um, I kind of just brought him in for some defense, so we will just go ahead and go to the training camps here, and... We will send some players to untapped potential that I think need it. So probably, so Precious should definitely be higher. I don't know why it's only an A minus, but that's fine. And we will send Terrence Clark there. We will send um, THD there. Okay, so we're decent now. So we're number one in the power rankings. Are we gonna are we gonna be able to do anything with that? I do not know. Um, for the regular season, I'm going to run a 10-man with Terrence Clark and give him, you know, just eight minutes a night, nothing too crazy. Or do I want to, let's see. So we do have KCP back. He, even though he declined his player option, he ended up 
taking it towards the end. So yeah, this will this will be fine for now. We'll we'll shorten the rotation once we hit playoffs, stuff like that. So why is Precious only getting 27 minutes? I I do think he should get a little bit more than that. So we'll take away some minutes from Kuzma. We'll give him 18. We'll give Precious at least 30. So this is pretty much going to be the rotation. I don't know what else we would do. Um, I think that this team's good enough to win a championship. It's just right now we're just we just keep losing. So there's not really much we can do. So I'll be back at the end of the year. So I know that we ended up the one seed in the power rankings, one seed in the conference, but. We just keep losing so many games. It's actually just insane. So Luca wins MVP. Igor something wins Rookie of the Year. Killian Hayes wins Sixth Man of the Year. Who is Killian Hayes backing up in Detroit? That's actually insane. Coach of the Year does go to us, and Executive of the Year um, also goes to us. So that's pretty cool. But who is Killian? I I don't I I know I just accidentally clicked out of the awards, but who is Killian Hayes backing up? In Detroit. Oh, Cade Cunningham. Wow. They have Kawhi Leonard, Cade Cunningham, Killian Hayes, Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, who won an award earlier on in the video. He won, what was it? Yeah, sixth man of the year and first team all rookie. Seku, a monster. And Buddy Heald. Oh my gosh. Detroit is nice. Yeah, and they're well they're only the sixth seed, but like still. Uh the Pelicans pretty much have the exact same team, but Ooh, they're starting Kyrie Lewis Jr. over Lonzo. Very interesting. So I guess we'll see how it goes. We take game one. Um Deer and Fox and AD are just insane. We take game two. Um same pretty much the same thing. They take game three. We take game four. And they take game five, please. Okay, I was gonna say, do not make us go to a game seven. So I'm gonna shorten up the rotation down to a nine man now, um, just because I don't want. Oh wow, Terrence Clark is—is is he balling this year? Let's see. No, he's really not. I don't know why he went up so much, but I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. He, uh, you know, he's he's trying to. Trying to prove himself out here. I like it. So we are going up against Memphis, who have the exact same team. Besides, they brought in an old Thad Young. They brought in Mike Conley, for whatever reason, to back up John Morant. And they're a really deep team, though. Really deep. So they win game one. Or we win game one. We win game two. We win game three. And they win game four. We win game five. Okay. So we are going up against Phoenix, which is funny enough, just because Phoenix is actually in the conference finals right now. Who have lost Chris Paul? What? Wait. They have DeLon Wright, Sterling Brown, and Cameron Johnson starting. With. We should blow through this, right? Wait, what? Why is that team so good? Is Devin Booker just going absolutely berserk? Like, why? He's not even, like, he's putting up okay numbers. I mean, 34 is pretty nice, but, oh my goodness. We're going to we're gonna shorten the rotation even more. We I didn't want to have to do it, but we're going to have to. I, I, did not, I did not see this coming. So we'll go Simcast here, and we will, come on, come on, Lakers, come on, Lakers. Force a game seven, force a game seven. Let's go. Okay. Whew. In game seven, come on, come on, Lakers at home, just blow them out. Just don't even worry about them. Let's go. Whew, that was way too close. And we're taking on the Pistons. Like I said, they have a stacked team: Cade Cunningham, Buddy Heald, Kawhi, Jeremy Grant, Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bay, Sekou Dumboya, Derek Favors, Anthony Melton. Oh my gosh, they're like nine or ten deep. Like no, no joke. They take game one. I I just have a pretty good feeling we're going to... Buddy Heald dropped 33. Did I read that right? There's no shot that Buddy Heald just dropped 33. There's no shot. We take game two. So that's that's clutch. Um, 
Very, very clutch. We like to see that. So we take game two. We take game three. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Darren Fox drops 31. They take game four. Yeah, okay. Precious had a huge night too. That's no fun. But we win game five. De'Aaron Fox, 34-2-9. And for... Oh my gosh, it's another game seven. Oh, goodness. And we are getting smoked right off rip. Yeah, we are. We just got absolutely obliterated in the game seven. Cade Cunningham is your finals MVP. Oh my goodness, this is just so annoying. I. And LeBron's going to be a free agent, and he does not retire. So, with all that being said, we're going to have to repay him, um, bring him back for sure. Um, we're not going to have any picks, I don't think, but let me just double check. Lakers, 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 Lakers. Nope. Because we traded them all to get, um, I can't even think of his name. We traded them all to get, uh, De'Aaron Fox and Precious, so. We don't really have a whole lot, so it's very unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to even see if they signed, but why would you reject? Why, as a CFO, would you would you reject? Of, of the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the biggest organizations, whatever. Okay, so we will sim, honestly, to the team and player options. I don't know if we have any. Uh, I mean, Precious has one. Kuzma declined. Why would you decline, Kuzma? You... Kuzma acts like he's just something else. And he's really not. But whatever so moratorium we're gonna have lebron to pay tht kuzma kcp caruso oh my goodness well we have to bring back we have to bring back lebron i'll bring him back on a i guess we could bring him back on a two-year deal yeah we'll bring him back on a two-year deal hopefully he accepts that um we have KCP here. Wait, LeBron has 12 offers? Okay, so we're the leading offer. We should get him back. We ha Do I want to repay Kuzma? What kind of free agency are we looking at? So, yeah, we have almost no money. None. We have almost no money. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually awesome. Oh, wait. We must have some money. I, I didn't have it sorted by overall. So do we bring back, actually we'll just go through the moratorium first, we'll go through the moratorium, if we lose someone, we lose someone, but for now that's what we're going to do. So, yeah we have, oh we have no money, yeah I was right, I was very much so right, we have absolutely no money, so we will re-sign Caruso, we will re-sign, do I want to bring back KCP, he was pretty bad last year, but... I don't really see a better option, so I guess that's what we're going to do. Um, we will bring back, do I want to bring back Kuzma? No, but I will. Um, and for centers, I don't think we had anyone here. No, we didn't. We could bring DeMarcus Cousins in on a one year. That wouldn't be terrible, but we already have Precious, so I'm good. I am good. Wait, what did that say? Wait, what did that just say? Who do we not have anymore? Wait, we have Darren Fox. Oh, we don't have Caruso. We don't have enough money to bring back Caruso, do we? Oh my gosh. That's so annoying. Okay, um... So we really need either a backup, what, point guard, small forward, or center. So yeah, we're we're gonna really be digging in deep here. So TLC maybe, maybe we could offer him a one year minimum. We could offer. Are there any decent centers here left? Jonathan Motley. Um, I don't know. Maybe John Henson? 
maybe Chick Diallo, maybe DJ Wilson. I I don't really like any of these. I I really don't. Um, I guess we'll go John Hanson on a minimum, and hope that <coughs> excuse me, and hope that they both sign, which they do. Do I want to get a backup point guard? Probably not. We probably won't even play him. So I guess we'll go to player progression and see just how much worse everyone gets. So that should be interesting. So LeBron definitely getting worse. <clears throat> Darren Fox didn't get any better at 25. I don't know how that's possible. Precious is up to an 87. Kuzma 79. Terrence Clark 76. KCP, or, yeah, KCP down to a 75. John Henson down, TLC down, so our team is just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, I don't really know what to do is the, is the main issue. I have no clue what we should even do. We clearly have a very good team, um, but yeah, we have a very good team. I don't know what we're doing wrong, but apparently we're just, we just can't win a championship. I just want to win one. That's all I want. Otherwise, I feel like I genuinely failed this, but I guess we'll have to see. We have a very good roster, an extremely good roster, <clears throat> but we just can't win. So I guess we can go ahead and extend it out to a nine-man for now um, until the until playoffs. Then we can drop it back down to an eight. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I'm so sorry about that, but that's what we're going to do for now. All right, so I uh, I gotta be honest, I I don't know. I right in the middle, right before the trade deadline, I saw that we were actually negative. We had a negative losing record, and no matter what I tried, I I just couldn't. There was nothing. There was literally just nothing that I could do. Um, I just could not win with this team. I don't know really what it is. We have LeBron, we have Anthony Davis, we have De'Aaron Fox, we have Precious Achua, we have. A really good squad so I went a little bit cheesy I traded for a bunch of first round picks I tried to upgrade the team a lot um, so I wanted to show that to you guys just really quick we did have we I did pick up Spencer Dinwiddie to play at the two um, I did pick up Yudoka Azubuki off the bench um, so just to give us a little bit more bench de bench depth um, if we start losing games I'm gonna shorten the rotation so first first round we have San Antonio who pretty much has the same except for they had that rookie of the year at one point so hopefully we can win we take game one uh, we take game two they take game three we take game four and they take game five come on please and they take game six. Oh my goodness I don't know why I can't win with this team I this team is really good this team is very very good and we just can't win I, I don't know I don't know, I guess we'll go to 8, rebuild the rotation there, and I guess just simcast it. I'm hoping that this will help us win. I'm, I'm praying that this helps us win. Come on. Looks like we're... Okay, so we end up winning <clears throat> to take on the Pelicans in the, um, in the conference semifinals. We still have Kyra Lewis, Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, or running Zion at the 5. They picked up Chris Boucher. They have Wiggins off the bench. They they're just doing something right. We take game one. We take game two. They take game three. We take game four, and we take game five. So now we are going up against the Sacramento Kings, who we took Deer and Fox from, and they are just killing it over here. They actually picked up Jeremy Grant, who was a good pickup. We gave them Trez for uh, for Deer and Fox. And then they have Clint Capella. They have Gary Trent off the bench. So <clears throat> this could be a revenge series. It looks like it might be. We take game two. Um, we take game three. We take game four. They take game five. Oh my god, another game seven? Please. I Actually, let me, let me put the bench depth down to seven. I, I don't want to lose. I want to win one championship before LeBron retires. That's all I want. And we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We're actually going to lose. I might jump into this one if it's close. And it's really not. We just got blown out. And LeBron honestly might retire after this year. 
That was the end of his contract. He has lost, what, four straight years. Trez ends up winning finals MVP. And LeBron is gone. So, I failed. I failed the challenge 100%. Oh, my goodness. We'll take a look at league history. We'll take a look at um, the NBA history for the past champions. So, this year... We lost in the uh, conference finals against the Kings, who ended up winning it all. Then, the year before that, we lost in seven in the finals. Kate Cunningham was your finals MVP for that. Um, this this year, we got knocked out in like the first round. And in this year, we that was the first year that we did it, and we lost in like the semis. So I did end up failing challenge. Um, if you were the one that commented it, I'm sorry. I, I really tried. I even tried at the end cheesing everything. I had almost five nineties in the lineup, and we still couldn't somehow win. I don't know how that works. I don't know what happened. But that's pretty much going to do it for me, you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. You guys showed a lot of support on the um, on the last rebuild like the rebuilding challenge and on the Spurs rebuild that is my second most viewed video on YouTube right now so I'm very happy for that very grateful um, and I gained about six or seven subscribers since I posted that so thank you guys so much um, but yeah once again let me know what you guys want to see next I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet um, I think I'm gonna do a series here soon where I try to get where I try to rebuild every single team um, and then once like once I rebuild every single team is when, like, I'm going to be done. But I haven't decided yet, so just let me know. Um, but, yeah, this is King Sanderson. I'm out. Peace.